So welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the functions concept uh, and then we have seen the difference between the local variables and the global variables and then we have seen the types of arguments and now let us see one more concept in the functions that is a recursion function. It's a very important concept. Recursion. So what is meant by recursion? So a function calling itself is called a recursion that means the function definition and the function call inside the function definition again we will call the same function so that we call it as a recursion so function calling itself the self calling function right so here the important thing is there must be two cases one is this case and the recursive case so we are saying that the recursion is function calling itself so every time if the function calls itself automatically it will be going to the infinite recursive call right so there will be no end so every recursion function should terminate after some finite recursive calls so for that purpose for that termination we will write some base case for terminating from recursion so after finite number of steps every recursion function should be terminated that means it, it should stop its recursive calls so coming to the recursive case here we will keep on calling the function itself calling itself right so if you write an example so that you will be clarified you will get a clarification so the best example for this recursion is factorial right so why this factorial is an example for recursion because see let us take this 5 factorial we can write this 5 factorial as 5 into 4 factorial in the next step we can write it as 5 into 4 into 3 factorial we can write it as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial we can write the same as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 factor right so after finite number of steps it will return 1 it will return the result it will return the result it will return the result right so every time we are applying the factorial so we will write the code just like calling the same function see let us write here this is a very important thing to be remembered that is two cases one is base case and recursive case so base case is for terminating from the recursion and recursive case is calling itself I will write the program so that you will be understood factorial using recursion def factorial of n n is passed if n is equal to is equal to 0 or n is equal to is equal to 1 so in the both cases the answer is 1 because 0 factorial is 1 1 factorial is 1 so here we can write it as return 1 else repeat the same procedure return n into factorial of n minus 1 so that means first 5 
so 5 not equal to 0 not equal to 1 so then, then return 5 into factorial of 4 in the next iteration 5 into 4 into factorial of 3 so I will trace it no problem right on here n is equal to right hand function n is equal to int of write down the input function read the value enter n value next result is equal to factorial of n and here print Result. So this will automatically print the result. Let us trace it. Let us trace it. First, n is equal to 5. n is equal to 5. Right? Now, n is equal to 5. Result is equal to factor of n. So result is equal to factorial of 5. So what is the output of this one? 5. 5 is equal to 0, 5 now is equal to 1. So it is false. So it will return n into factor of 4. It will return 5 into factorial of 4. Right? So it will return 5 into factorial of 4. Now, again, factorial of 4 will be called. So again, factorial of 4. 4 is equal to 0, 4 is equal to 1. Again, it is false. So n into factorial of so this will be given as 4 into factorial of 3, 4 into factorial of 3, right. Next, again factorial of 3 is called, the so, function calling itself, right, factorial of 3, 3 is equal to 0, 3 is equal to 1. So condition false, else part, it will return 3 into factorial of 2. 3 into factorial of 2. Next, again 2. 2 is equal to 0, 2 is equal to 1. That means, again, it will return 2 into factorial of 1. So, this will return 2 into factorial of 1. Again, see, factorial of 1, 1. n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1. True, return 1. So, this, will func this function will return 1. So, what is the output for this one? 2 into 1. So, 2. 2 will be written here. So, 2 into 3. 2 into 3. That is, 6 will be written here. Next, here 6 will be written. 6 into 4. 4 I mean, 4 into 6. 24. 24 is written here. 24 in 5 into 24. So, 5 into 24 is equal to 120. So, this will be given to result so in the result we will get 120 hope you understood so here this one is the base case and this one is the a recursive case right so at some finite number of steps it will be terminated so from the termination, it will be returned to the previous functions. So here it will return 1, so 2 into 1, 2 will be returned. From this function, 2 into 3, 6 will be returned. From this function, 6 into 4, 24 will be returned. From this function, 24 into 5, that is 120 will be returned to result. So if you print result, we will get the 120. The two things we have to remember in this recursion is base case and recursive case. After some finite number of recursive calls, every recursion function should be terminated right so here also there is no much complexity in the recursion just only one complex thing is we have to identify the base case and the recursive case so if you find this base case and recursive case the logic will be very simple so hope you understood this one so let us stop here so if you really like my videos like my videos so share my sessions with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding this Python programming, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So keep watching and thanks for listening. Thank you very much.